Introducing the ATtiny85 ISP. So what is the ATtiny85 ISP? It is the easiest and best way to work with Atmel's ATtiny85 chips on a breadboard, allowing you to port your smaller Arduino projects to the low-cost ATtiny85. If you are watching this video, you probably are like me and most likely already have an Arduino or many Arduinos, which may look something like this. As you probably are well aware of, the Arduino is a great open source platform for development with a very active and awesome open source community. The ATtiny85 chip can be used with the Arduino platform and works great when your project doesn't require all the pins or horsepower that the standard ATmega328 requires. Just because the ATtiny85 is small with a lower pin count doesn't exactly mean it is limited. Take a look at the serial I2C display running off the ATtiny85, using only two pins and the tiny wire library. To begin working with the ATtiny85, you can program the chip with a standard Arduino Uno or compatible, equipped with the Arduino as ISP sketch, some wires, and a breadboard like this. You can also use a standard ISP programmer such as USB Tiny ISP, with wires connecting from the six pin cable to the respective pins. The downside to working in this manner is that it is a total wiring nightmare. You must hook up three wires for the serial communication, one for the reset, and two extra for power. When I thought of this concept, I took a look at the current PCB offerings for working with an ATtiny85, and I didn't find any that I thought were the best solution possible. While there are several well-designed ATtiny85 boards out there, and some from some very famous DIY websites, the main disadvantage of these boards is that these types connect with USB and therefore use a bootloader on the chip. Since the ATtiny85 only has 8K of flash memory available for programming, I feel it is a total waste when you have to dedicate 2K of flash just to store the bootloader. 2K of the available 8K on the ATtiny85 is 25% of the total memory, leaving you with under 6K for your program sketch. The USB connection also can potentially eat up two of the five normally available pins, depending on the design. Programming an AVR chip by onboard USB is normally a nice feature to have. In the case with the ATtiny85, the pin count is already very low, so there isn't a serial interface back to your computer as you normally would have with an Arduino compatible. Therefore, it just makes sense to use a regular USB ISP programmer or an Arduino with the Arduino as ISP sketch when working with ATtiny85. This way, you get all the 8K space to use for your sketches and it isn't any harder to program by USB using an ISP programmer or your Arduino as an ISP. I sketched out the idea and began designing the ATtiny85 ISP with both a low cost and ease of use in mind. My plan was to use the through-hole construction so that even those new to soldering can assemble a kit if they wanted to. The through-hole design allows you to swap your ATtiny85 dip chip with another in the same ATtiny85 ISP. This is helpful if you want to program a series of chips or you made a mistake and toasted your ATtiny85 by accident. Other boards out there would have you throw the entire board away or try to desolder and solder another small SMT package if you needed to swap chips out. Not fun. The board itself is very small and fits into any standard breadboard with 2.54 millimeter pin spacing like so. All pins are broken out from the ATtiny85 and there are other features such as a power LED indicator, a reset switch, and appropriate capacitors for ensuring a smooth voltage delivery to the chip. The most important and coolest feature is a six pin ISP header itself. This allows you to quickly program the chip and even power your circuit right from your ISP programmer. While you can use a standard Arduino Uno compatible as an ISP, I would highly recommend getting some kind of six pin ISP programming tool if you don't already have one. The ATtiny85 ISP will be offered in board form, kit form, kit form with chip, and fully assembled for those who don't want to solder anything. The ATtiny ISP is completely open source and the hardware files and schematic will be released to the community upon successful funding of the Kickstarter goal. I am reaching out to Kickstarter to help get this development board out to the Arduino community worldwide. I have become amazed at what this tiny chip can do. I have spent lots of time and plenty of my own money on trying to perfect this breakout board and would love to share it with the Arduino community throughout the world. Prototyping is complete. The next step is to have the boards manufactured in quantity 
component source and quantity so that we all can benefit from the lower cost. Thanks for checking out the ATtiny85 ISP.